Hi guys, Mikey from Nano Clubhouse here. Hoping you're all keeping safe amidst this crazy pandemic lockdown. I figured you guys might like to have access to some tools to work on music whilst we're all keeping safe in our isolation bubbles. Today, I'm going to show you how to download and to install Reaper, which is the main tool I would say I use when I'm recording bands, making beats, and making demos for future projects. This video is for those of you guys who want to make try making music at home but perhaps weren't sure how to get started. You won't need a super powerful computer, but you will need a connection to the internet, which I'll assume you have if you're watching this. Alright, first of all, we're going to open our browser and search for Reaper Door. Excuse my... website should look like this. And it loads. Come on internet. There we go. Uh, we're going to go to the download page and select the right version for the computer that we're using. I'm using Windows 10 64-bit. But yours might be Windows 32-bit or a various one of the versions of OS X. I think the most recent one has to be uh, separately downloaded. So, um, but hit me up if you're having problems and need the install on uh, OS X. I can help you out with that too. In any case, uh, Reaper works on all of these platforms and even Linux. So it's, um, it's just like a tiny download. So. It, we're going to download the, I think it might even be like, oh my god, it's 13 megabytes, that's insane. Uh, now Reaper is a professional recording package that competes with super expensive apps that can cost upwards of a thousand New Zealand dollars. It's totally a legit piece of kit. However, although Reaper is not free, they will let you use it completely free of charge forever. Cool, right? The one catch is that you'll have to put up with an egg screen for 5 seconds when you first open it. No, actually when you open it, every time. It will count down for 5 seconds and then you can push the button labelled still evaluating and then you're all good to go. Once you've got it downloaded, click on the downloaded file to open it and I'll run you through it now. So basically, you just have to agree to the license agreement, which is mostly legal jargon. And pretty much, you can get away with just hitting the defaults. And yep, you want to say yes to that. And you want to click install. Um, it's going to take a second to do the install and then it's saying it's completed you press close and that is that simple yeah let's run it so it's a piece of cake to get it installed but you will need to configure it the first time you use it now mine has already been configured because I use it all the time but I'll you run you through how to do that now the most important thing to do is to make sure that your audio system driver is set to the correct setting and actually Reaper will prompt you to do this when you first open it anyway. So what I want you to do is when you have Reaper open is go up to options and then select preferences down here at the bottom and make sure that it is the device submenu uh, and that your audio system is on WASAPI. Okay, that's important. And there's a couple more um, essential tweaks that I'd like you to make. So um, I'd like to take you down to under appearance here where it says media. I'll click on that and make sure this here is on knob it might be set to that but we want it to be knob okay uh, this will make more sense when we start getting sounds into Reaper which I'll cover in the next video uh, okay so 
the last tweak is to go to options and down to themes and make sure that the default 5.0 theme is selected. Um, this theme has a nice clean look to it that I think will make learning Reaper a bit easier. Um, so there we have it. Reaper is installed and we're ready to move on to the next step which involves bringing sounds and arranging them and mixing them which I'll cover in the next video. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, I hope you stay safe and look after each other. Okay, bye.